Hey everybody, I'm here at Merv 2021 and I stopped by this booth right here and I'm gonna talk to Jeff, courtesy of Fangs and Greengate 3D. Thank you guys so much for having me come to Merv. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. Well, let, let the people know who are you and what are you doing here today? Well, I'm Jeff Dimage. I work on pellet fed 3D printers. Uh, here's a pellet head that I designed a couple years ago and I've gradually improved it and improved it. So I've been making these different things. Like here's a, a, a plane made from Pet G, That's straight awesome. from pellets onto the part. That's awesome. So, so a pellet fed extruder is you're taking the, the raw resin, the pellets, yes. you're putting it in the top and it's going through a process and extruding it straight out, right? Yeah. That's awesome. What size nozzle are you running? Right, right now it has a 2.4 millimeter nozzle. <laughs> I've gone from 1.5 to 3.5. That's awesome. So I could just make what size I want. And then what are you printing on that you're getting this size prints? Well, I built a tubular steel welded frame printer okay. that I was going to try a bunch of different technologies on. I mean, I even had thoughts of maybe putting a router head on it. <laughs> nice. So, I mean, it's just meant to be really beefy. So it could hold something like this. That's awesome. So I got to ask, uh, these prints are awesome. There, there's an awesome PTG jet here, the Coke bottle, the chair, of course. Yeah. So, so how did this start? Like, how did you look and say, you know what? I need to make a pellet fed giant extruder to print something like this. Well, it started before I got into 3D printing. I wanted to make custom parts for cars. Okay. And I want to make like a custom hood or fenders oh, or nice. bumpers. Nice. And obviously I'm not there yet, but <laughs> so yeah, I mean that was like 2013. Okay. okay. So I'm kind of gradually getting there. Yeah. But I mean, so yeah, this is a stool I made just to just to pr try out the technology. Woo! Yeah. So like this is a viral, a base mode spiral built. And then I have a structure inside screwed to a, a birch wood, plywood seat. That's awesome. It's inspired by That's so ice cool. cream chairs. Oh, you go to ice okay. cream parlor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, I, I took the same shape of seat. Right. And I just like, I want to make something that kind of looked fancy. There That's we go. That's awesome. Well, that, that is a really cool idea. And I love that the inside has that structure. And she's like, turn it over, turn it over. But I love that. That that makes it super rigid too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we can stand on it. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. That's a solid piece. Now, the extrusion lines on this are pretty pretty big. What size nozzle on this? Uh, I used uh, two and a half millimeters on okay. that. Okay. It's awesome. Everything here is one millimeter layers. Oh, okay. So nice. Yeah, you get that. Kind of get the idea of like, okay, all the layer lines. Yeah, that's one millimeter. That is awesome. So what, uh, where are you going from here? So you, you have a giant tubular printer at home. Yeah. You brought in an extruder, not the whole printer today, but yeah. where do you go from here? Well, I want to make a bigger printer. Okay. I'm working on one that should be like six foot printable area. What? So. <laughs> six feet? I have the design. That's awesome. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. I have the design. I just need to build it. Sure. That, that's going to be awesome. So you use like a funnel for your resin to go into this? Uh, I'm working that work? on that. That's okay, part of okay. the technology chain okay. because like when you're talking about ma manufacturing, handling pellets, there are systems that use vacuum yeah, yeah. and pressure right. to blow pellets to the hopper right. that you need to use it in. Yep. I think CME CNC has one of those exactly. where they use the big trash can in a vacuum yep. system. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, I, I really appreciate you sharing with yeah. us. This is so cool. Tell us once again, we're here, we're here at Murph. We're here at Murph 20. 21, even though they say 2020 on them. But uh, tell us again, who are you? Where where can we find you if someone wanted to look this up? Well, I'm Jeff DM. I can be found on YouTube. Uh, I don't have a channel. Maybe I'd have to get, get okay. with you on that. Sure, sure. But um, I'm also on Twitter, Jeff DEM. Jeff DEM. Okay. I don't talk about 3D printer stuff so much there. That's okay. But yeah. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate it. This is Jim right here from Murph 2021 with Jeff and an awesome extruder here.